guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the love and support on this series. As always, if you enjoy the videos, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Check that zoo out, you guys. It's so disorganized. <laughs> but we're in base building mode today. I have a feeling that dino pins are going to be coming soon and all sorts of things. I've got a lot of design ideas. But first thing is first, I really want to protect my water mounts. This side of my house has been open for a long time, and it's kind of time to switch this. So I'm going to start playing around with some... Um, with like a shark pin so to speak i'd also like to get a plesiosaur not today or a plesiosaur but i am gonna get one so maybe tomorrow i'll gather up a couple of the guys and we can go out and hunting for one because uh, they're really really hard to tame but i've already uh kind of placed one of the fence foundations i had to play with it a little bit to find out where it was gonna go and i think what i'd like to make is some sort of rounded type um gateway so what I'm uh, and I'm, I've made some stuff too. I've got uh, a dino gate, a behemoth gate, I should say, and the behemoth gateway ready to go. And I'm gonna use some stone foundations here. So if I place just connected, oh, just like so, that's probably not enough. Nope, that goes in a little bit too fast. I didn't mean to place it like that. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing that quite a bit while I'm in the water like this. All right, so that's straight. That's good. And we're going to come out, uh, let's say, five before we start angling in. So that's three. And this is going to be four. One more. One more. And let's see how far that comes out. That comes out right around there. So, hmm, it's actually going to have to be more than that. Um, maybe eight. Five, six. Uh oh, that that one didn't line up. <laughs> Man, this is a lot harder than it looks. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Did that one line up? No, that one. I don't think that one lined up either. Demolish. So that's five altogether. That snapped. Six. Seven, that snapped. And one more here. Alright. So that comes out by eight. And that goes right here. So I can easily start to angle out. I don't know if I'll be able to build through this thing. Nor will I be able to demolish it. These underwater rocks are just kind of like... They're stationary there. So there's not much you can do about that. Uh, stamina should be good right now too. Let's place a few walls down and see. I've got a few stone walls already built up to kind of test how this would go i believe fedex has them let's see here yeah fedex has them i've been doing all of my stuff with birds you guys like i've been going up the mountain getting metal with birds i've been forming stone with birds the great thing about them is like you can just stay on the ground you don't have to worry about an animal or anything for stone at least with our collection rates uh it's easy not to even worry about an anklo just go form stone and just put them on your birds and they just fly around you and protect you and all that good stuff so it's really really nice i'll show y'all what i'm talking about in just a moment it's my new patented mining method but you guys could use it. <laughs> All right. Let's select the wall. And it's facing the correct way. I was so worried about the stability of this behemoth gate. Because they act kind of funny. Like, I've torn down behemoth gates before by accident. By removing uh, some of the foundations under them. You see how these foundations are here? If I were to take these foundations away, there's a chance that the behemoth gate would crumble. And uh, we can't have that. That's just crazy. Uh, so let me see. And that's another reason why I'm using stone. Because wood foundations are much, much easier to break. And if something breaks a wood foundation, then everything on top of it uh, falls. Which is a huge flaw in my wall, as I see here. But uh, so far, so good. We haven't had any trouble with that. All right. Let's place a few more walls and see how it goes. So ideally, I don't know how tall I'm going to want this thing. I'm just going to try out using what I have right now. And it is going to have to be probably at least that tall. Can anything get over here? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Although I'm going to want it to be uniform too. Uh, let's see here. And this might have to be three. 
Nope. Two is fine. As long as it sticks out the water, I am not worried about it. That one is barely sticking out of the water. I have a feeling that this might be the last chance we could do that. And I'm out of walls anyway. <laughs> yeah, but the, actually, this will probably be the last one, and then I'll have to start curving anyway, which might I might change the dynamic as well. But the stone wall looks really, really good in the water. Um, I don't particularly like the way it's kind of backwards. Yeah, it is kind of backwards. <laughs> How did that even happen? I guess because I was placing the stone the wrong way. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Half of that stuff's underwater, so it really doesn't make a difference. I just want it to be... Um, I just want it to be protected, and, and it is, so I'm going to play around with that. Well, let's go get some stone, and I'm going to show you how I did this. Uh, first, let me clear out a little bit of inventory here. Let's see. Talon is pretty good to go. And then we've got FedEx that has only a couple stone fence foundations, which we could place those right before we go. And Amber Hawk, I believe, is good to go as well. Although, man, she has some stuff on her. I'll tell you what. Let me just get rid of some of this. Um, she gets all that scrap stuff from looting. Um, I don't want to waste those. I can probably use this stone and that just to make some stone wall right quick. Yep. Two of them. Perfect. And I guess I could throw away... Well, I can't throw away much. I can throw away, but I'm, I'm just not going to throw away. That's a regular old metal axe. I could throw that away. Uh, and we actually, I'd like these arrows on me. This doesn't weigh a lot, but who cares? Okay. So now we're pretty good. Uh, let's see. I think that's probably good. Okay. So let's place these. And we'll check out this side. So I have this placed as well already. So we'll line this up. That one lined up fine. And... Oh! <laughs> Y'all saw it, it It moved just at the last time when I, was, when I was actually moving around in the water. Let's see. Stone and stone. All right. Now I'm officially <laughs> out of resources. So, um... We're going to take Amberhawk, we're going to take FedEx, and we're going to take Talon. Which Talon's my oldest bird, my lowest level, but it still doesn't matter. So I'll come out here where it's easy to access it. Um, and they're just going to follow me around, right? They don't really get in my way. Every once in a while they take a pick to the face because they get a little bit too close, but uh, it's really not that bad. And we're going to go out this way. I'm not really worried about the um, that behemoth gate staying open due to my, my dino guards right now. But I also get, get some wood with them too. So we'll start with that. And the wood is fairly easy. Because my axe chops through it like a boss. And now when I get too full, they're all over my heads, right? So I just I just put the resources on them. And we move on. They kind of come to me. And the best thing about these is, like, you know, if I have my Bronto, right, and I fill up my Bronto, or I get full, if I get too full, I have to walk to my Bronto because they don't walk to me. But the birds come right to you, which is awesome. And this part of the beach is really excellent for this because I have wood and stone kind of all around me in the same area. And now I just access my inventories. There we go. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get the right bird when you start filling up. But usually, if you time it right, it's not too bad. Uh, the biggest slowdown is actually knowing what is broken and what's not. And the cool thing about harvesting stone this way and not on the beach is that it's all done with the same tool. You don't have to switch tools or, or anything. All right, this is a perfect example, right? I'm way too full to move right now. So let me just access my bird. There's FedEx just in time. Isn't that lovely? And you could just keep doing this. It's it's so wonderful. It's a quick method of getting. I don't know how well it works without extended methods of um, or accelerated methods of um, of forming, but I imagine that. See, they don't really get in front of me ever. So I imagine that I, I would probably pr do pretty well with a uh, with my anklo too. I'm not too sure. Now every once in a while they don't. So, unfortunately, I can't do anything until they come a little bit closer. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's just dump out a little bit of inventory. And that puts me close enough to transfer it. So yeah, not that much hassle for pretty good reward. And they carry quite a bit. FedEx is... Uh, carry weight's ridiculous for a bird. Every, everybody else's is pretty good. Amberhawk is not that good because I've never put weight in her. But Talon, my old bird, when I gain levels with Talon, I put him into weight now. So I'm thinking maybe two or three more of these uh, that were all destined for weight would be a really, really good um, a setup to go mining with. And, well, foresting, deforesting and mining, really. Uh, let's see. So just off of this little run right here, I've already gotten quite a bit of stone. I probably need to concentrate on wood just a little bit, and we can make our way over to the water to get some more stone balls done. All right, you guys, I've been building like a madman, collecting walls just like I showed y'all earlier, and uh, put stations and everything else. Now I'm to the point to where I have quite a bit of the wall put down, but I need to put the behemoth gate because I don't know exactly where it's going to line up because I know these things are humongous. So let's go ahead and try to place it. Uh, it looks as though this is probably right on the money, like right here. Boom. Okay, so it should line up just about perfect here. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to need any more foundations at all. Nope, it lines up. So it's a little bit on top of one of these which shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, I might just be able to put a second wall through there. I do have a few walls that I can check. Let me go with FedEx, and I do have a few walls here. I'll put the stone up. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to hold that many. Crazy. No way. These things are so heavy, man. All right, so now that I got my behemoth gate, boy, that looks so awesome. <laughs> now that I got my behemoth gate, let's see. I'm going to start with the wall like that. Okay, I can put it inside. That's good. That's very good. It won't it won't mess with me like that. Good. And how far exactly does that come out? It doesn't it kind of sticks out the, that side, but that's not a big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and put two more. Okay, now let's try the other side. I do have four walls so I can go up if I need to. So it looks like this one is going to connect kind of the same. Just like that. Now I'm going to have to come up a little bit higher because it doesn't exactly enclose into the wall. So I'm probably going to need, let's see, we'll say one, two, and then six, ten, fourteen, eighteen right there. Eighteen walls and probably about... Uh, 18, 21, 24, probably about 27 more walls just to get it secluded. Oh, another thing I can place is my, the gate itself. Let's go ahead and put that in slot number seven, and it should just tack onto there easy. Boom. Awesome. And I think it should go from the outside based on the way I placed. No, it comes on the inside. Ah, I was hoping it wouldn't do that. But it's okay. I mean, it's all right. Um, I'll be, it, I mean, it really doesn't matter whether I go in or out due to the fact that, well, I mean, I'm going to have to go both directions. So <laughs> anyway, let me go get some more stone walls and finish up this project. All right, guys, I just made my last pickup of stone and the wall is just about complete i'm gonna see if i can get this from the air there's a couple spots that i need to touch on my bird will probably drop me here when you get too close to the water they don't like that uh let's see ah it didn't good but i'm gonna go on the inside and drop down anyway because it's too hard to maneuver well maybe not yeah it's definitely gonna be too hard to maneuver go ahead Emerald, drop me I know you don't like the water. It's fine. Okay. And there's a spot over here where the gate meets that is not connected. <laughs> Ember just follows me over the water. It's so good. You're... Aww. <laughs> JTP's creatures keep dying. Poor guy. He's probably trying to train him. That was a baby, though. Uh, let's see here. 
one more real close like and I think this is where I wanted to place and this I really wish there was a, a way to have all of the walls level out like be able to craft half walls and stuff it would be pretty nice ideally we'd like one more right here just to show the gradual slope and probably one more right there but all in all guys the wall is complete so everything sticks out of the water at least a little bit meaning there's no place that sharks could come in uh, now there can be dinosaurs can breach this portion right here I guess I should build that up a little bit higher but for the most part I think I've collected enough stone today there's a lot of stone in these walls and I can always come back with a little bit of wood like I did too at the trim because technically uh, if it's just for show then um, the, w the wood would probably be good enough and every once in a while I might have to do a repair but other than that it's fine all right you guys enough walls for the day <laughs> like i've been doing them probably for the last six hours seriously it's been a heck of a long day i want to play around with something that i thought was really cool and i think you guys will enjoy a while back i think i was in a cave and one of the supply drops had this thing in it a ramshackle slingshot now yeah i know you just guys are like it's just a slingshot don't get me wrong i know it's just a slingshot well, it happens to be green, so it's beautiful like my armor. But check this out. Look at the weapon damage. 124.9. Okay, so 25% more damage than a regular slingshot would do. And you can repair it on the fly. The ammo is absolutely free because it's all stone. And now that the, the way that flyers are, um, the damage is done with flyers, I really have, I really have a, a, a feeling that we're going to be able to kill like Argentavis with this thing. I mean, I don't know. I want to try it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I wonder how the slingshot works when you have this going on here. First, let's get, um, let's get some stone, shall we? some ammo if you will okay there's 44 ammo <laughs> we could have easily picked that up off the ground too okay so you can play with it in third person that's cool um i'm wondering if these things are any better at knocking stuff out uh, I, I mean i know naturally tranquilizer is where it's at okay there's an argentavis over there i don't know what level it is but it's going to be interesting to see and this is something that a lot of people I didn't th I don't think anybody looked at this in Survival of the Fittest. Now, this may have been something that was available in Survival of the Fittest, but at the beginning a slingshot was very powerful. I mean, this is how I started off. I started off with a slingshot. So, I'm not upselling, I'm just telling you guys. Okay, so I see something over there that I probably don't want to use a slingshot on, although you never know. But I doubt I doubt that I can do anything special to to one of those cats. Uh, let's see. I don't know where it went. Well, I mean, now that we have the fabricator at the base, I don't mind doing some experimenting because I can always fix my armor. Let's see what happens with this cat. If it, things get too rough, well, I'll just kill it. Um, where did it go? Ah, there it is. All right, you ready? That's the first time I hit it. Oh my gosh, I just took a lot of damage. Fine. Well, not a lot of damage, but... He's level 40, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't really play with that guy. Okay, first test failed. Let's try again. I broke my gauntlets only, which shouldn't be that bad. Uh, how does that look? Oh, it's just my hand. Okay. Where is the Argentavis? There it is. I know a bunch of you were saying Argentavis, Argentavis. I like to call it Argent, Argentavis. I actually, I, like, my mouth wants to say Argentavis. Um, but, you know, and for short, Orgy just doesn't work. All right. Let's get this thing down here. <laughs> get over here! And I defecated. All right, ready? Oh, I missed. This thing's got quite a bit of lava on him. What level is this guy, first of all? A 76? Ooh, this is going to be really, really interesting, you guys. Really interesting. Ready? Uh, take a rock. Take a rock. Oh, I missed him with that one. 
Come back here. All I got is a slingshot, man. Are you serious? I hit him uh, twice. Three times. Four times. Five times. Six. Seven. He's bloody. Eight. Nine. I know what you guys are thinking, too. Like, why don't you tame this thing, Z? Ten. It's only 76. I've seen a 110 before. Eleven. Oh, the blood's coming. Twelve. Thirteen. I know you guys are probably dizzy. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen hits. I killed a level 76 Argentavis with a rubber band on a stick. That's what I'm talking about. So that oh 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on we're not ready for this we're not ready <laughs> actually we might be oh it's pecking at that other one how much ammo I got left 13 C hold on let's get some ammo right quick all right we got ammo <laughs> you see that so people overestimate this thing man and, I, and then I'm doing it in third person. It's probably a little bit better like this. I mean, I know I got crosshairs, but... I don't know what level this guy is. I know I can't hit him. What level are you? If you are really high level, I don't want nothing to do with... Another 76? Is it really? No, that's... A, oh, yeah, it's another 76. <laughs> I'm not going to do nothing to that thing. But that's still just to say, man, that is OP. Let's just finish it off with our, our pike, which is ridiculous. Yeah, flak chest plate is broken. I'm going to have to repair all my stuff. All right. It's all dead now. It's all dead. All right, now I want to try it on something a little bit <laughs> more reasonable. Uh, not one of those. I think I could probably kill one of those. I wasn't even going to mess with a flyer, though. We already know that these things are OP with flyers. Uh, Corno level 36 is probably bigger than I want to go with. That raptor over there looks like he's a good sport. Let's see if he wants to play. Slingshot. All right, here we go. That's two. Four. <laughs> Four hits, guys. A level eight raft is down. If you don't think this slingshot is powerful, you are out of your mind. <laughs> that is strong. <laughs> well, that is going to be it for this episode, you guys. We had some slingshot fun. We built a whole bunch of stuff. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And I'm half naked. <laughs> and also, you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. And we'll see you next time.